Hey everybody, today we're going to see if we can set off a percussion cap without using the hammer. Okay, a lot of people use maybe their fingers, wooden dowels, stuff like that to um, kind of push it a little bit forward so that the hammer will set it off. So I'm pretty curious if, um, you know, since I use the eraser or the pencil, I'm pretty curious is if I'm able to set it off doing that. Just for safety reasons and have a little fun because I kind of irritate today because my um, new police model that was supposed to arrive today, now they're saying it's going to arrive tomorrow. So I want to make a quick little fun video and kind of see if we can set these off. So I'm going to use the eraser like I normally do and then I'm going to use this end of the pencil to act like a wooden dial. Um, I'm also going to go ahead and use this flat right here to see if I can also set it off with that. And if they all don't go off, that's cool. I know I'm not the strongest person in the world, but I'm pretty sure I can set these off. So let's go ahead and get them a try. And I'm going to go use um, number 10 percussion caps. To put on these caps, I'm going to use my new um, star thing. I made a video about this. Um, a new uh, star capper. So answering these, I got a video about these. And let's go ahead and put it on a half cock. And of course I'm only going to do three because you know I got three little things I'm going to try to set off. So we'll go ahead and go on the first one. We're going to start with the eraser. So now I kind of just put that much pressure on it. So now, let's see if we can really put some pressure on this. <sighs> Nothing. I got my hand on top of the pencil and I'm really pushing down. So it looked like this might be actually a pretty good safe way to set a cap. You know, I don't know about pushing that hard. All right, let's go to the next one. We're going to use our wind and dial. Set that on it. Nothing. Okay. Let's try metal. Alright, and now to show that these are real ones, we're going to go ahead and set them off in here. Alright, first one. Second one. Third one. And so, with the racer, I mean, I really jam it down. Um, of course, and I did the same thing with this one. And also the flat right here. So, I actually feel way more, let me get down a little bit. I actually feel way more confident than I did with like, carefully put them on with my thumb and then using this and not really jamming in there because I'm afraid that I'm going to set off the powder and drive the bullet through um, with it not going down the chamber. So I'm actually really impressed. I'm frankly, I'm going to try this again. Alright, this is round two, so y'all can see exactly how to do it, and plus I also want to make sure it's not a fluke. I'm going to use my eraser. Um, this brought my normal eraser, so I'm going to have to get a new pencil for the range. Go ahead, this one. Nothing. Let's 
one. I say for say, alright, I think it's safe to say that it is real difficult to set these off without using the hammer. Now, of course, I don't recommend even after watching this of using your thumb uh, because just in case, you might have fluke one that goes off and there's no telling what type of damage that's going to do to your thumb. But as far as being really careful about the pressure that you use. Um, not, I'm, I feel more confident before knowing that um, so I'm never going to put that much pressure to, uh, to set it in before I shoot at the range. And as you can see, I put enough pressure that um, I did break it. I got to get a new pencil. So, um, yeah, feel free to put a little pressure on that wooden dial. So you can go ahead and fire flawlessly at the range and don't need to worry about a cat getting seated and then firing. So y'all have a wonderful day. Hopefully tomorrow I have an unboxing of a your birdie um, 1862 pocket police. If it, you know, gets here tomorrow. But y'all stay safe and have a good one.